på dig and uh, we'll do Rodas reviews. Hey buddy, meaning Swedish hello. Uh, why Swedish is because the band in question is from Sweden. Dark Tranquility with its 2020 release moment. Why so late, you might ask? I'll be honest about it. At first, when I was listening to this uh, album at the gym, training hard, and I was listening to the digital promo copy, I was like, okay, Dark Tranquility is back with a new album and uh, they're sounding quite powerful and towards the end i went i decided okay maybe this is not so fitting for rauda maybe i'm not liking this album enough and later on i decided hey maybe people actually deserve to hear about it album i mean probably already the fans are already have this album the fans don't give a damn about reviews so why would i talk about it I decided, well, it's actually one of those bands which I found around 1994, if I had to guess, with the Skydancer debut album. And I decided that maybe I should just give this album a new chance. Ask for a review copy and talk about it for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's not a bad album, it's actually quite good. And second of all, well, Dark Triangle is quite big band that it would be shame to just skip it before... It didn't feel like the right thing to do at the gym. So here we are with an album called Moment. And this is the CD version of the album. Very basic. As you can see, black and white font. Very readable. And then you obviously have the uh, band lineup image here. Now, those of you who are pretty much updated with the Dark Tranquility band already know that there has been some lineup changes throughout the years and maybe more importantly one of the uh, key members leaving the band. Now taking a look at this Metal Archives site gives you a little bit of idea. You see the original drummer and that's Yee Varp still there from 1991. You have Michael Stanne, previously guitarist but basically always been the vocalist guy. So the basic elements are right here. But if you take a look at the uh, end bar, the guitarist spot since 2020. So this is definitely a new lineup in so many ways. And not that the bass player is like an old timer in this band anyway. So a lot of changes compared to the past. And here, if you take the past members, I guess the key element would be mentioning that Niklas Sundin, one of the original members of the band, playing guitars for almost 30 years in the band, left the band in 2020. So um, it's a different game now. But, luckily, it doesn't really affect the quality of music here. Now, quick glance to the discography before we talk about more about Moment. So, as you can see, the band has quite a few releases out there. I mean, but again, it's already going to be 30 years. Now, with the name of Dark Triangulity, they had a stupid name for a couple of years before that. Like I said, Skydancer was the album which I got to hear. I would have to guess it wasn't probably 1993 when I heard it but 1994 and at first I was really like a little bit shocked with the music because I mean I came from a background of more traditional metal like metallic and the like but I already had dipped my feet into world of death metal I had started to getting into black metal but that was more like 1994 not so much 1993 so when Skydancer came to be I wasn't like I didn't know what it was. I mean, back then, you really didn't have internet connection. That came just a little bit later for me anyway. Some three years maybe, but still. So the essential years between 1993 and 1996, it was confusing like to figure out, okay, there is death metal, it's crawly and all that stuff. Then you have this more uh, uh, roar type and more grim type of thing, which is black metal. And then you obviously had trash metal, do metal, basic heavy metal and all that stuff. But Skydancer, with Dark Tranquility and, of course, bands like In Flames. They came from a different corner, which was labeled back then melodic death metal. Not really death metallic in the sense of, you know, riffs, vocals or lyrics, but that's a different situation and different talk. The point here is Skydancer and later on of Cajun Eternal Night, which I think is a, still a good EP, and later on the second album, The Gallery. And I was buying this, but I had a hard time getting into the band because it was different. Kind of a blackish, but not exactly. Kind of a death metallic, not really, but still. So, 
very hard band to get into and when I finally did yeah I was liking the band a lot no fast forward a little bit further and by the time of projector I had already like abandoned the band why I was so knee deep in death metal and black metal that I couldn't give a damn about bands that were overly melodic maybe adding some clean vocals and all that stuff and as such the result is I missed most of the albums between so I'm not gonna even start comparing like how is moment compared to Atoma four years before or about fiction or Haven damage done like so many other bands or other reviewers have been doing for for me it's time to reflect upon moment from a clean slate so to speak and maybe because of that I didn't have any kind of expectations I was just listening to Dark Thringley uh, you know circa 2020 the generation of 2020 Dark Thringley and I was pleasantly surprised especially when I was giving the CD quite a few spins because first of all yes it is very much melodic metal you know like it has always been in my books but the thing is because I didn't have this uh, comparison to do I really really didn't have to worry about like how this compares to some previous albums five years ago ten years ago 15 years ago I was just listening to an album and figuring out whether or not it's gonna be my cup of tea whether I'm liking it and for which reasons now first things first Dr. Angelody has made quite a safe album. In so many ways, it's very safe to approach. Superb production. In my opinion, it's very, very good. Even though some people might say, it's too clean and sterile and all that stuff. Piss off. In my opinion, this kind of clean and nicely produced, even somewhat strong production, really fits the music. After all, melodic music benefits more of the uh, clean and crisp sound versus, you know, death metal, black metal trash metal even and as such I think it works for the favor of the band also because of this album not being too lengthy and not having too lengthy songs I mean it's 10, 10 tracks 41, 41 minutes it pretty much cuts to the chase you really don't have boring songwriting but more like compact songs which are very easy to digest easy to enjoy and there's enough diversity with the music. I mean, you have those clean vocals, which are kind of like mandatory for bands like Dark Tranquility. And while they are nicely done, I mean, I have no complaints whatsoever. I still think that they are not, in my opinion, mandatory to have there. And I would, you know, pick these non-clean vocals or the clean ones any given day, even with Dark Tranquility. But that's a different case. My point here is there is enough diversity with the riffs, with the vocals, and it makes this album quite decent. Now the thing here is, there are some what people are calling gothic vibes, and at least one song really reminded me of Paradise Lost later on. Even though the whole album is not very Paradise Lost-like, there are some similarities, like overlapping elements, which in my opinion works for the favor of the band once again. But it's mostly about creating this melody not too dark music but somewhere you know between the kind of a happy go lucky kind of a mainstream stuff and then again this darker gothic music which basically paradise lost has been doing for quite a long time and as such the result is moment is in my opinion quite a good album it's not exactly right up my alley being the kind of a melodic metal which i rarely have the uh you know urge to, to go to but if I had to pick one of the winners of the uh, so-called Gothenburg uh, melodic metal style, I would say Dark, Th Dark Tranquility is definitely one of those leading bands. For example, In Flames, which then again used to play the same style in the early 90s or mid 90s, late 90s even. I mean, they went totally in the wrong direction and nowadays I really can't stand the band. It's like totally different band with totally different lineup and all that stuff whereas Dark Tranquility is in my opinion staying more true to their roots and yet still evolving progressing changing over times but not too much so it's like loyal to the fan base and audience and just everything so uh, I'm not gonna say if this is like the best or the worst or something in between kind of album for Dark Tranquility for the reasons mentioned before. I have way too much blackouts in the Dark Tranquility discography. But whether or not this stands a good album for melodic metal overall, I would say yes. This is one of the better albums in the uh, 
melodic metal uh, genre, in my opinion. And Dr. Ingoldi clearly shows they have a lot to offer here. And maybe this is the kind of album that kind of proves that you don't really need all those weird gimmicks and tricks to lure people in. What you really need is strong songwriting, good production, good vocals, catchy melodies, and you're good to go. So, for the fans of melodic metal, Moment is definitely an album to go to. One of the better, I'm sure, of 2020 in that genre. So, whether or not you're gonna love that style or not, it's up to you, but I strongly recommend listening to it. Thank you for watching the review. Should you have any comments or questions, feel free to call, drop a comment in the comment section. Thanks and bye-bye.